the thyroid needs iodine in order to produce thyroid hormone and you need sufficient levels of thyroid hormone. Not too much, but you need it. If you get tired faster, sleep poorly, and often feel hungry, your body is definitely deficient in iodine. According to neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, the most important physiological role of iodine is its participation in the production of thyroid hormones, thyroxine, and triiodothyronine, the role of which is difficult to overestimate, because there are no organs and systems in the human body that do not need thyroid hormones. Therefore, the lack of iodine in the body leads to profound changes in the work of all its systems. First of all, the immune and limbic system suffers, people's performance decreases, there may be lapses in memory, and irritability and fatigue often appear. The problem is that iodine is not produced by the body. Therefore, in order to maintain a sufficient amount of iodine in the body, you need to know its norm. Dr. Huberman believes that many doctors are not serious about the issue of proper iodine levels in the body and do not study this issue enough, since the Japanese population ignores WHO recommendations and consumes more than 12 milligrams of iodine per day, instead of the recommended 150 micrograms per day, this is 50 times more than the average American. Life expectancy in Japan is over 82 years, while in the US it is about 78 years. Newborn mortality is 50% lower than in the US. The death rate from breast cancer among American women is three times higher than among Japanese women. One in seven American women will develop breast cancer. 30 years ago, when iodine intake was much higher in the US, only one in 20 women developed breast cancer. Women in Japan who consumed high amounts of iodine in their diet had much lower rates of breast cancer and thyroid problems. However, when women emigrated from Japan to the United States and started following a Western diet, with less iodine, their rates of breast cancer and thyroid problems increased significantly. These days, people get iodine in their diet primarily through the consumption of table salt. Iodine started being added to salt back in 1920 to reduce the incidence of goiter. For a while this actually worked, but now people are reducing their intake of table salt. Excess salt in food has been shown to increase the risk of high blood pressure. In addition, iodine deficiency has occurred as other micronutrients such as chlorine, fluoride, and bromide have become more abundant in food and the environment. These trace elements reduce iodine levels in the body by competing with it for receptors in thyroglobulin. Chlorine is currently used to purify water instead of iodine. Fluoride, which is almost universally found in toothpaste and drinking water, blocks the thyroid's ability to concentrate iodine. Bromine began replacing iodine in baked goods over 30 years ago. How to fight iodine deficiency in the body? Attention! First of all, you need to be very careful. Excess iodine in the body is even more dangerous than a deficiency. Do not buy concentrated iodine, and do not add it to food or water. Because iodine in its pure form is a strong oxidizer, getting into the body, it destroys cells, forming free radicals. For safe use, iodine must be bound by a carrier molecule. Andrew Huberman believes that the problem of iodine deficiency in the body can be easily solved by adjusting your diet. By consuming on a regular basis foods that contain iodine, you will keep its amount in the body in normal. Iodine, when it enters the body, will be immediately spent on the synthesis of hormones, and you will not worry that its concentration in the body will be exceeded. It is best to turn your attention to dairy products. Milk, cheese, and cottage cheese are considered to be the best sources of iodine. Many experts believe that the amount of iodine in dairy products depends on the diet of livestock. But in today's world, farmers monitor the quality of their cattle's diet very closely. According to the latest research in 100 grams of farmer's milk, for example, 84 micrograms of iodine, that is 56% of the recommended daily allowance. If you are not a fan of dairy products, then pay attention to seafood. The main sources of iodine are considered to be cod, tuna, and shrimp. Cod is certainly the leader in the concentration of iodine and other various minerals among all seafood. Thus, 100 grams of cod contain approximately 170 micrograms of iodine, or 113% of the recommended daily allowance. The amount of the element in fish can vary slightly. Wild-caught fish has slightly more iodine than farmed fish. In case you are lactose intolerant and you just don't like seafood, then potatoes are perfect for you. 
This vegetable is a great source of iodine. So one baked potato weighing 100 grams will provide you with 60 micrograms of this element. This means that to get the daily norm, it is enough to eat three, four potatoes. However, it is necessary to eat a baked vegetable and with the skin because it contains most of the nutrients. Also, you can pay attention to berries. Cranberries or strawberries also contain a sufficient amount of iodine, but their advantage is that even when frozen, these berries do not lose the concentration of iodine. Therefore, in winter, you can make up for the lack of iodine with frozen cranberries or strawberries. The human body needs many trace elements for normal functioning. It is important to make sure that their concentration in the blood is always normal. To do this, it is mandatory to undergo a medical examination at least once a year and take a general blood test. It may seem silly to you, but think about the situation with iodine deficiency in the body. The comfort of your life will be impaired, you will often be tired, sleep poorly, and it will be harder for you to live. Therefore, do not forget to visit your doctor once a year and monitor the condition of your body. Also be sure to watch your diet and try to eat foods that contain iodine. Subscribe to the Health and Wellness channel and be healthy. See you soon, dear viewers.